Tom Francis, welcome to the Ospreys and to Wales. Um, yours was the first big signing of the season for the supporters. Um, can you tell us what your reasons were for joining the Ospreys? Oh, I, j I just met Boothie and Dunks on, on an interview and they told me how bad I was at rugby, really, which uh, may maybe want to come here. Dunks, he turned up with some clips and pointed out where he felt he could make some improvements. And for me, that's gold dust. It was similar to Rob when I signed at Exeter. He turned up with clips to show me where I can prove and the same here. And, and that was massive for me to the, the, the set the tone of, of, of a club I wanted to be involved in. How important was Toby Booth's vision for the Ospreys to you? Oh, massively. Also, the, the boys in Wales camp before I signed, they were telling me about him and then I met him and they said it, it, it's, it's a place that's changed, the culture's changed and, and it's going places and it's a journey that, that they thought I'd enjoy. And once I heard Toby's, Toby's plan, it, it, it was exciting, but obviously the players have to execute it. Everyone can have a plan, but it's important to actually to, to, to go through with it now. There's a big tight end here in terms of experience and also some very exciting ones. That must be a challenge that you're obviously relishing. Yeah, hundred percent. Was was five tight ends, isn't there? Was was both and uh, Maff and Reese and Ben and yeah, it's an exciting group. But that competition makes you better, and whoever gets a chance to play is going to deserve it. And also, you're not you're not going to have to play eighty minutes every week, which is is the key. If you empty for fifty, you know you've got that that talent to come on, whoever it is. And yeah, it's exciting. The competition place is always always breeds it. We have the new, uh, the new United Rugby Championship coming online. Tom, which is obviously South African teams, a big four coming in, and obviously they they love to scrimmage. Yeah, what kind of challenge are you expecting? You know exactly what to expect from the Saffers, That direct set piece, one off carries, physical defence. But no, I, I I've only ever played in the Championship and the Premiership, so for me this league is an exciting prospect for me to to, to play against the different Irish, the Italian, the Scottish teams, and the derbies and then to add the Saffers into that, as, that, that as a front five, there's no way, no better, better place to test yourself and see, and see where you're at. And I think in Europe, it probably will help those Saffa teams before it to, to, to get ready for the French. It's as similar as you can get, really, so. How do you see your role at the Ospreys? To become the best player I can be and help the team anyway that is, whatever that is, if that's helping the youngsters after training. But foremost, it's, to become a better player. As I said, I, I still see a lot of growth in myself to, to become a better player and I just want to add to the team and, and achieve the goals that we've set, but hopefully get to play a bit and yeah, just, just try and drive that culture. What are your goals for the season? Goals for the season? It's tough, huh? I don't know. Just for me, I just want to get in the team and get some games, but the results as well and you want to see that progression, progression of the game plan, and see see the positives of that working. So, results is a tough one to to to, to say, isn't it? But end of the day, you want to qualify for Europe if you want to put a, a thing on it at minimum. And the squad we've got here, we we definitely got the capabilities to do that. Injuries permitting and getting the squad on the pitch, but yeah, the growth the growth is 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 there to be seen. Osprey's TV, Thomas Francis, has learned something about you in terms of you have a Lego obsession. Can you explain <laughs> it, please? Uh, when I first met my wife in, in camp, she uh, took me to the Lego shop in Cardiff and it rekindled a childhood memory of, of Lego. And since then, every birthday and Christmas or whenever I go to camp, she buys me a creator, it's called Car. So, yeah. I had to buy a few boxes to transport her the other day, so she's not happy, but I can have them in the garage, she said, in the house. So. So this is a serious addiction? It's not addiction, I just like Lego. I, I did mechanical engineering at uni and I find it a good switch off from rugby, that, that following the pattern and same as cooking. I enjoy cooking and following recipes, but yeah, Lego's yeah, a little geeky thing that I like, so.